and welcome to buy one dm welcome back if you are a old subscriber welcome back if you are a new subscriber welcome to the family i am one dm here to share all things real about the digital world from education job markets and personal financial management for those new and old to the game this is never seen before content for majority of us here but i am here to spill the beans on these digital secrets that we are unmasking today now, without wasting any more time, grab your book and your pen or just open up a notepad on your phone and come and get this information because I'm about to give out a lot of information in a very small amount of time. So, without further ado, please, let's get into it. Today, we're going to be talking about getting hired through your profile on LinkedIn, how to optimize it, what to add, what not to add, where to put it, how to make sure that you get it in front of the right people so that you're able to optimize your job um, prosperities. Now, first things first is your profile. Make sure that your picture is clear. We can see you, we can see your face, we can see everything about you and make sure that you constantly update your credentials by doing free courses, by immersing yourself in new forms of doing whatever work you are into. You can do these courses by going into the corner up top. I'm going to leave a card there where you can click and you can go to my courses and you can see how you can get courses for free. Next thing is you need to link your professional sites as well as your website to this particular linkedin account so that if they want to see you outside of linkedin what you present yourself professionally as make sure that these are separate from your wild day social medias because some people are not hired because of their social media and the type of content that they post on that particular social media now also last thing about the profile be very honest about the bare bones of your profile don't try and jazz it up too much now here we go next linked sites so there you get to add like as many sites as possible. You get to post things there on your LinkedIn account. So what you're going to do is you're going to post sites that you have been featured in for your work. Maybe you've been interviewed. Maybe you've been posted on social media regarding your particular field of work. Or maybe you are trying to engage people through um, your post on social media. Maybe you featured blog post. Whatever it is that you have done that has gotten social media or internet attention, link that there link that to your profile post it link it there make sure that you treat your linkedin account like your personal scrapbook for your career every single accomplishment that you have try your best to fit it into your linkedin account so that people know what exactly is going on with you professionally and that you are a put together person who knows what they want in that particular thing lastly for the previous slide um just add maybe a video of yourself one max so here we go next slide is as i'm to be headhunted guys you have to headhunt people honestly you think you just get headhunted for headhunting no no they don't just go and then miraculously your profile appears there no they headhunt you based on how you present yourself so you have to get their attention in order for them to look at you so what you need to do is when you attend functions, when you attend public webinars online, make sure that on your profile, you make it very clear where your LinkedIn account is, where your website is, what you do, and all of that stuff about you specifically within your industry. Be very direct, be very niched down. And if you guys want me to do maybe a um, demonstration or a demo profile, be sure to tell me so that I can show you guys how exactly you go about head hunt being headhunted and how you get their attention. And now, the most important thing that I think everybody needs to know is that your LinkedIn profile is like your online CV. Like, sure, fine, some companies will be like, please um, type in your CV, uh, send it to us, all, all of that jazz. But companies that are moving with the times companies or, or customers even clients who are moving with the times are going to want to also see your linkedin account because they want to see exactly what you're offering they want to see no matter what professional career you're in whether it is music whether it is um science whether it's accounting it doesn't matter if you're a freelancer especially optimize your linkedin to be like your personal scrapbook for all the achievements that you've had every single client review everything 
link it to your LinkedIn. Link your LinkedIn on every single social media platform. Somebody could see you on Instagram and be like, mm, I like that person. I want to get to know that person more and then end up hiring you. So here we go. Final notes, guys. You know what it is. It's that time again. Thank you for making it this far into the video. Thank you again, guys, for supporting me and for supporting what i'm trying to do here guys i'm trying to get as much information about digital work and about the digital world to everybody who's out there so if you're out there and you feel as though you know nothing about how to get hired online then please stick with me i'm going to show you the tips and tricks that i've learned over the years on how you can actually do it comment below if there's any specific type of thing that you want me to talk about or maybe if you feel as though you want me to go more in depth about something and then lastly just to touch on these final notes guys make sure that you optimize your profile one in honest in an honest way and then afterwards make sure that you go again and you make sure that you link everything to all social medias be sociable be approachable to people guys it's been lovely having you all thank you very much for the support once again see you next week here we go